back with you guys on the cadet cabinet just a little closer here to getting the cabinet rebuilt and back together if you guys recall i was waiting to uh, source another piece of 1 32nd inch uh, birch plywood which i did and you can see here i've got all the uh, cut pieces laminations together getting ready to apply some glue as I'm sharing some of the photos here, the uh, limited amount of work that I've been able to do to this point, uh, just sharing another story. The plans were to go down to the Antique Radio Charlotte event. And uh, just like the previous year, I was supporting my dad. Unfortunately, my mother-in-law, who lives with us, had a really nasty fall. She broke her hip, required surgery. So um, I was here to um, you know, help my wife and uh, family through that. And uh, she's since been placed in a skilled nursing facility, just going through uh, rehab. And uh, since that time, she's been uh, hospitalized again. And now we've just got her back to a uh, skilled nursing facility just to start the uh, rehab back over. So um, again, I'm just sharing some of the photos here. You can see the uh, tongue and groove design using a 1 8 inch uh, drill bit here just to clean out some of the old uh, debris and glue get everything uh, kind of cleaned up here to get uh, back together when the time permits. Since the existing finish was already degraded, I was able to remove most of the existing finish on the outside pieces of the cabinet on the sides here, just uh, with some light sanding. In addition to uh, the sanding itself, I followed up using some lacquer thinner just to remove the existing lacquer. Here you can see I'm starting to uh, clamp all those uh, pieces back together and uh, get the uh, front piece here uh, created in line. This is nothing more than a dry fit that you see. And here's where I've uh, traced everything out using the existing front. And uh, that's just my center hole location there for the tuning condenser itself. And um, another beautiful day here. I was able to sneak outside and uh, cut out the uh, new front piece here which I think turned out really, really well. After cutting out that new front piece, I elected to take the top piece that I created, and this again is where the two 1 32nd inch pieces of birch plywood come together. I was looking at would it be best to glue in advance and attach the uh, top to the front, and uh, that's what I elected to do. Now here I'm just doing a, a dry fit because I had to uh, do some fine tuning on the top piece. You can see it was kind of pitched over just a little long. So uh, I just shaved a little bit of the uh, birch off here. And I was just looking to make sure that my uh, seam lines would line up once everything was back together uh, in the tongue and groove. So I used some epoxy here to attach the uh, front to the top and uh, let that set up for uh, one day and you can see the results here of uh, what I've got there'll be some additional sanding of course required and then uh, we'll fill that in with some epoxy filler as well just to make everything uh, nice and smooth where the two pieces uh, join Kind of an unusual step, for sure, I would say, doing it this way, but uh, after doing the dry fit, I think this was the uh, best way to do it. It was going to just be very difficult to get clamps back in there and get the uh, front and the top piece attached to each other. Up next, you can see here in some of the photos that I'm sharing, I just started uh, putting everything back together, starting with the uh, base itself up against the uh, left side. After letting the glue here dry for 30 to 45 minutes, I removed the uh, clamps. And then I proceeded to go ahead and put the uh, top and the new front piece in. And it's glued only on the left-hand side. Looking at the photos, the right-hand side is just sitting inside the, uh, the groove itself. And I let that uh, dry for a period of time. Just made sure my cabinet was uh, aligned best I could and squared up. And after that uh, dried for 30 to 45 minutes or so, I removed the right side, placed some glue in there, then reclamped. You can see here the uh, grill bars. One of the uh, grill bars was compromised, the others were kind of warped. So I took some uh, 1 4 inch square dowels, 
you can see here and just uh, recreated uh, brand new horizontal grill bars uh, they turned out really well all this was done uh, by hand you can see after doing just a little gluing some clamping a little uh, sanding using my uh, sanding block just to uh, get everything level and square and uh, just made all the uh, cuts itself or the little notches right inside a uh, small vise instead of uh, you know any elaborate tools so a uh, very simple process the uh, curvateur you see here was just using uh, some 60 grit sandpaper to achieve the uh, desired roundness here for the uh, top pieces as i noted a few more photos here of the uh, radio cabinet back together just sitting outside taking in some of the beautiful sun here you can see uh, still some fine tuning to be done on those side pieces a little more filler definitely have to do some additional uh, sanding before uh, using uh, toner lacquers or stain to get the uh, desired look again that front and top piece will be covered with walnut veneer uh, that's uh, forthcoming as well, but uh, I think things uh, look pretty well. And one more update here before I conclude this video. You can see I've got a 1 16th inch times 1 inch wide aluminum bar. And uh, I'm using that to recreate that decorative piece that was missing on the uh, front bottom side of the radio. It looks more like a uh, dial phone finger stop. And uh, I was able to find some uh, photos online, and I was able to uh, print those to scale, or what I believe to be close to scale, as you can see here in the photos. Use some double-sided uh, tape, place that on the aluminum bar, and then I'm just using a hand file, or a couple different hand files here, and uh, just creating this piece uh, by hand. After uh, cutting it out, of course, and doing the filing, is still just a little rough. Just some fine-tuning here. Followed by some uh, final polishing of the aluminum. Thanks again for watching, folks. Hope to have another video posted soon on this little Cadet Model 35 AC. Take care.